Welcome to Guru Trader video for Monday, May the 3rd, 2010. Here's the seven market movers that we're following today. Six new symbols, one follow up on the TSX Venture. New symbol GPG, Grand Portage Resources Limited, 14 cents up four. On the TSX, new symbol AEI, Arsenal Energy Inc., 110 up nine. On the NASDAQ, new symbol CRXX, Combinator RX. Inc. 164 up 31. Also on the NASDAQ, new symbol SHIP, C Energy Maritime Holdings Corp. 154 up 22. Uh, following up on uh, KOG on the Amex, Kodiak Oil and Gas Corp. 426 up 28. Also on the Amex, new symbol GMO, General Molly 418 up 44. And lastly, on the New York Stock Exchange, new symbol uh, HOV, Hopnanium Enterprises Inc., Class A, 795 up 84. Let's take a closer look. Alright, first stock we're looking at today, GPG, Grand Portage Resources Limited, 14 cents up 4. Mentioning it because it made a 40% move. Now, mind you, it's only 4 cents, but it showed up on the percentage gainers. Uh, volume, a little under a million. Let's see if that gets over a million. 64 million shares outstanding. The market cap's only 9 million, so not much more than a shell at this point. 52 week high was 12 cents, which it did on uh, March 31st of this year. It's had a gradually sloping s uh, chart over the last year. The low was 4 cents, which it did August the 20th. I don't see any news to explain the move, and, and actually the last news I'm showing was uh, Friday, September the 11th. Um, they acquired an early position in Nexstar Energy Limited. So I know very little about that company, so I'll leave it at that, except that, you know, the percentage move. Let's see if the volume builds. It's it's made a 52-week high. Let's see if it's more than a one-day blip. Let's look at the three-month chart, uh, kind of flat. And if we actually bring this news up, we can see the uh, longer-term chart to get an idea. Let's see here. Open this up. Yeah, the stock's actually been up to 80 cents before, so I don't know. Maybe there's a turnaround going on there. I'd like to see some news to get an idea what they're working on. Keep an eye on that one. Moving on, AEI on the TSX, Arsenal Energy Inc. First time mentioning this one as well. Dollar ten up nine, almost a nine percent move. Um, mainly mentioning it because it of the volume. Over four million shares have traded. Uh, mind you, this is a hundred forty eight million dollar company, so there's a hundred thirty four million shares outstanding. Um, also mentioning it because it broke its fifty two week high of a dollar one, which it did on April the thirtieth, so just a few days ago. The low was nineteen cents, which it did July the tenth of last year. There's the one year chart gradually sloping and it's kind of has gone sideways for a while so we need this uh, we need it to break on the upside with some volume and it's done both of that there's volume and it has broken through but let's see if there's any follow-up uh, April the 19th they announced Arsenal announces new credit facility and updates North Dakota drilling program so uh, that's worth looking into there was a halt here back in February um, I don't have time to get into that but I, and I don't really see their operational updates on their reserves so uh, anyway, um, moving on, we'll keep that one on our radar. On the NASDAQ, CRXX, Combinato RX, Inc., 164, up 31, showed up on the percentage gainers, up 23%. Also showed up on the volume actives, 11.5 million shares traded. Out of 88 million shares, it shows 145 million market cap. Now the 52-week high was 260, which it did September the 16th of 09. It's kind of slid down, turned around first of the year, kind of flatlined for a while, so I don't know, maybe it's breaking to the upside. Let's see the news. April 15th, they announced uh, they're presenting data for oncology programs at American Association for Cancer Research meeting. Um, April 14th, discovers a uh, novel multi-target mechanism for the treatment of hematologic uh, mal malignancies. So um, anyway, I'd look into that, see what type of uh, cancer cures they're working on, and uh, um, see if this volume continues and if it continues to break to the high and it's got a wide ways to go before it gets to that 260 but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Actually let's look at the longer term chart on this one as well. Um, okay there's the five year. The stock's been uh, you know looks like 13, 14 dollars at one time but hasn't had much of a chart since. 2006 is it's been around since then so it's a fairly new company if that's uh, or at least it's been fairly newly listed on the on the NASDAQ and uh, has done nothing. I uh, had a little blip here, so I don't know. Is this a turnaround? We'll keep an eye on it. Um, this one here was interesting. SHIP on the NASDAQ. Uh, C Energy, if I'm pronouncing that right. Maritime Holdings Corp. 154 up 22, 16% move. A little over 2 million shares traded. Um, the 52 week high was 494, which it did on August 28th, and it kind of fell off a cliff. Has gone sideways for the most of this year, and I don't know, maybe it's bumping up a little bit. The volume seems to be above. Uh, normal. 
There are only 33 million shares outstanding. It shows $51 million company. Now, they announced today, Sea Energy Maritime Holdings, Inc. announces letter of intent for strategic acquisition of a controlling interest in Maritime Capital Shipping Limited. Um, I don't want to summarize the release. I'll let it speak for itself, but I, I think they're, just, they're, bu they're adding to their fleet, acquiring a number of, of uh, ships. Uh, they mentioned, okay, letter of intent with Maritime Capital Shipping of the British Virgin Islands to acquire 51% ownership interest in Maritime Capital Shipping Limited of Bermuda for the price of uh, US $33 million. MCS is based in Hong Kong. Yeah, there it is. Nine handy dry bulk carriers with a combined cargo carrying capacity. Okay, so I'd look into that. They're adding to their fleet. Let's look at the five-year chart. Stocks looks like it's only been around since the end of 2008. It was around six dollars, four dollars. So there it is. I don't know. Not really enough information there to go on, but but it did pop up on our radar. So we'll keep an eye on that. See if it's more than a one-day blip. Um, now this one we've mentioned several times. KOG Kodiak Oil and Gas Corp. 426 of 28, up seven percent. Volume 3.4 million. Um, we're mentioning it mainly because we, we've mentioned it before uh, three or four times since March the 12th at 292. So it's 426, and it made another 52 week high today. The previous 52 week high was on April the 6th at 406. Uh, the low, mind you, was a year ago at 66 cents at May uh, May 6th of last year. So there's the, the chart for the last year, and it made a new high to trade as high as 434 today. So that's why we're mentioning it. Um, and they on April to April 22nd they put out their uh, first quarter uh, invite you to join its first quarter 2010 financial and operating results conference call. So I didn't listen on that call, but uh, that's probably available online if you want to look at it. And uh, GMO General Molly 418 at 44, almost a 12 percent move, two and a half million shares traded. I think it showed up on the percentage movers. 300 million dollar company. The 52 week high was 416, which did on March the 8th, right here, and it's been continuing to build since that pop. So uh, the low, mind you, was a dollar 45 May 14th of last year. It's had kind of an erratic one year chart, but uh, broke that high and traded as high as 420 today. Um, now. Interesting. I, I can't really. I haven't looked into this this much, but they mentioned that uh, they received 10 million under Hanalong Bridge Loan Agreement. Um, there's mention of rights. Uh, there's mention of yeah anti dilution rights for Hanalong transaction. Um, General Molly adopts stockholder rights plan on uh, March the 5th, and there's their fourth uh, their fourth quarter and full year 2009 results. So all those are probably looking into. Uh, um, now they're. I assume they're of Molly. Um, you know, Molybdenum, Molybdenum, however you pronounce it, uh, company. So, um, just first time uh, noticing this one. So let's see if this one continues to build. And lastly, HLV Hubnadian Enterprises, 795 up 84, almost a 12% move, over 8 million shares traded. 600 million dollar company. 52 week high was 768, which it did uh, April 30th, a few days ago, and the low was 179, which it did July the 9th of last year. So there's the one year chart. It's kind of gone sideways around the four dollar range, and it's breaking again to the upside. We're mentioning it because of the volume, because it broke this 52 week high again, traded as high as 805. Um, you know, nobody. I'm not really excited about the home builders, but you know, maybe they've been beaten down enough, and uh, they did put out their financial results, and uh, I'll let them speak for themselves, but. Um, and that was a while ago. So, anyway, um, I check on our insiders tab, analyst tabs, and, and our earnings tab to find out what uh, other people are saying about the stock as far as their earnings and price targets. That's about it for today. Trade safely. Do your homework. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Guru Trader videos and tweets are daily snapshots of five to seven very active small and microcap stocks from all North American stock exchanges. We simply track stocks that are trading up significantly on news or making new highs on very high volume without any further consideration of company fundamentals. The point is to save time by focusing on only those stocks that are moving right now. Guru Trader symbols come from filtering market movers and from subjective observations. Our software cross-references today's volume actives, percent gainers, and dollar gainers, which are filtered down to just lower price stocks. We then look at each stock's charts for apparent uptrends and news headlines for obvious one-day only events to exclude, like a buyout, or for longer-term growth-related news like financials, drill results, patent approvals, etc. to include. This is similar to how many traders look for new stocks as a starting point for further research with their financial and investment advisors. This is not an advisory service, and conflicts may exist as we sometimes take positions, or featured stocks may have bought online advertising or IR support services. Any content published by
by Investors Guru's small cap stock observer is subject to the terms of our privacy policy and disclaimer at InvestorsGuru.com. For our other small cap stock channels, follow Twitter's Guru Trader Tweet in real time on your PC or mobile device at Twitter.com slash InvestorsGuru. Subscribe to watch YouTube's Investors Guru video channel at youtube.com slash Investors Guru. Search, search Investors Guru at facebook.com and add us as a friend to see our videos, tweets, etc. that are all synced to post on our wall. It's free to sign up at investorsguru.com stock community for comprehensive quotes, newsletters, profiles, forums, etc. where to update your portfolio, watch list, alerts, and news by email preferences. Thanks for watching.